What is up guys, McDowell's back again with a brand new video and today we're going to be continuing part 3 of our Shadowlands pre-patch 1 to 50 series, so I hope you guys enjoy, let's jump right in. You gotta love the Grizzly Hill aesthetics, man. I mean, the graphics are great. Everything just looks beautiful. Like I said in the last video, I have these four quests to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. Queue up for some BGs and for some dungeons, and I'm hoping to make some pretty major progress in terms of my overall level with this video. All right, let's do some arena. Warrior and Frost DK versus Boomkin Hunter. This should be a pretty easy win. Double melee versus double caster. We'll see. Um, I also got a tip not to macro my Blood Fury immediately with Bestial Wrath because eventually my Barb Shot will reduce the cooldown of Bestial Wrath. So I've just got to get used to using them on completely different binds. Alright, on this guy. Moving. Big trick. This, this was a, a 360 play, okay? Like a 500 IQ play. It's actually awful. It's awful play, dude. Alright. Yeah, this was like, didn't even have to do anything really, didn't even, this was my first game of the day, so I feel like I didn't even play incredible, if I'm completely honest. Let's freeze his pet, get him off me. Dude, this DK won't die, like there's no way he wins either, but my god, the survivability. Nice. That was so scuffed and we still won. First game of the day, like I literally just logged in. Okay, both quests complete. Gotta go kill some animals now. Grey Warg Hide and five Succulent Venison. And a random BG. Might as well break up the monotony. Okay, nice. Put into a BG where we're already losing. Hopefully we can make a comeback uh, with me in here. I'm gonna go straight to Waterworks with this dude. Um, maybe we can make a difference. It looks like it will be a 2v3. Disengage over the water. Kill command. Basilisk. Tar Trap. We got him on the last tick of that penance. That's not great, though, unfortunately. Dude, these guys are unkillable. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Okay, we trapped that guy over there that got frost nova That might actually be, like, the play. On this druid. Got him. All right, our team actually came back. All right, interrupt this druid. They're trying to come back. Car trap on that guy on me. Oh my god, just die. Okay, he's dead. So we got the waterworks. Very, very good, guys. That actually went way better than I thought. Maybe we could actually turn this around. It's going to be really, really close, but we might actually come back. Okay, I'm on this druid. Basilisk. Feign death. I'm switching already. Kill command. Nice. Hey, we actually won it! <laughs> Wow, 1492 to 1500, and we came back halfway through the game, and we ended up being top 5, just like that, zero deaths, yeah, I'll take that, that was pretty good, level 24 too, level 24, and from the crate of battlefield goods, ooh, brand new wrists, 168% upgrade, and a dungeon at the very end, and we actually have potions as well, that's very, very nice to have, we are a hunter after all, we only have the exhilaration, unfortunately they don't stack with my necklace, but it looks like the super healing is better, so we need to prioritize the super healing potion over the nexus one time. Alright, I've already done the nexus once, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this done, and maybe we'll see if we get an upgrade from it or something like that. I actually just realized, though, that I get my next talent at level 25 now, which is very exciting, and I could go for Chimera shots. Uh, I might, it looks like I might have too many buttons at that point, and I'm like overcomplicating things for the sake of doing it. Um, one with the pack seems cool as well, though as well as Scent of Blood, and we'll talk more about it when we get there, but yeah, that's pretty nice to know that every, literally every level, I'm getting something exciting. It's such a breath of fresh air from how WoW used to be. Okay, so we didn't really get anything good. These legs are actually a 10% upgrade, so that's pretty good. We can use those for now. So now we get a brand new talent point. I can either do Scent of Blood, which makes it to where my Bestial Wrath, which is my major damage cooldown, will also grant me two charges of Barb Shot. That could be quite good. Wild Call has a 20% increased chance to reset the cooldown of Barb Shot, uh, so that makes it 40% when I get a crit with an auto attack to reset it. I like that a lot, personally. And then Chimera Shot is another, you know, on-use ability. It does two hits of 177, one Nature, one Frost, right? And then each hit also generates 10 focus, so 20 focus, assuming I hit two targets. Gets. It looks like it does decent damage actually. My issue becomes if I'm trying to play for the long game, how many on use abilities am I going to have and is it going to become too clunky? So I'm going to go with one with the pact with the hopes that I'll be able to get more crit later down the line and just smooth out my rotation, but I haven't looked up any guides or anything, so who knows if that's correct. We'll see, I guess. I just reached level 26 and I unlocked Pit of Sauron, Forge of Souls, and all of these crazy high level Wrath dungeons, and it's just normal, and I can get gear from them, and I think that's so freaking cool. 
Nice, a rare upgrade on a random questing ring. I guess I'll take it. It gives crit after all, so that's really good for me, apparently. Getting off those barbed shots, getting those procs with those auto shots. That's pretty solid, so I guess crit is something I definitely need to go for. Since I'm not using a guide, I just have to decide by myself what the better stat is. At the moment, I think it's crit. Yeah, it looks like Cobra Shot actually does do more damage than Arcane Shot now. Nice, the Oculus. I really don't feel like I've done this since Wrath. I mean, <laughs> maybe one time in between, but honestly, I can't remember. So it's pretty nice to be able to be back in these dungeons, like I said. Especially one as just, you know, old, really, when you think about it, as the Oculus. We're also still basically first place DPS, but I've noticed that tank warriors are always ahead of me now. I could have to do with level, as you guys told me. It says everybody's 34. Interestingly enough, there's a bunch of 34s, and then there's like... 122 and then me so that could be part of the reason i'm still pretty good in pvp though also apparently at level 49 my cobra shot goes up in damage by 50 percent so that's gonna be pretty nice as well i basically spam that all the time when my kill command is on cooldown at least and i really need beast cleave but i believe that's also at 34 uh so my aoe is still pretty bad which is why my dps just feels like it's lacking on the trash right now Okay, one more to go. And it's the one that you fight on the dragons themselves, I believe. Yeah, this is so easy. This is not how it used to be, <laughs> like, at all. There we go. And no item, but that's fine. Okay, whatever that was. Okay, so one thing I did want to continue to capitalize on was crit. Uh, as I said before, getting those barbed shots off with the wild card procs, which says my auto shot criticals have a 40% chance to reset the cooldown of barb shot. That's obviously very, very good. And so, in order to do that, I thought... I want to go ahead and replace my bow with the Dwarven Hand Cannon. So I went and I bought it on another character, and now we have it. It's going to give me 16 crit now instead of the 16 haste of the bow, and that's way better for what I'm trying to do. So I think this was a pretty good buy. And there's a funny story behind this. I actually bought the Dwarven Hand Cannon back in Wrath, and somehow I lost it in my mail, and they never gave it back to me. So I've never had my original. So I've actually had to buy this item more than once on this character. We're going to go ahead and try this AB, though, and see how it goes. Hopefully it's a win and we'll get to level 29 off of it and now we have 26 percent crit with this gun so that's a pretty big upgrade as well two percent crit for the weapon change that's definitely going to be a big difference i think all right the big lumber mill fights yeah this is like a major huge battle right now nobody can die because their healers are so good gotcha nice on the smunk priest now interrupted Freezing trap, they're gonna break it. Hopefully they proc it, they did. My trap that is, we're on this monk. No pet to be seen though. Dead. All right, so we won the battle of the lumber mill, but we didn't win the game off that. We're actually behind. Maybe we can make some gains over at Staples. Okay, we do actually come out ahead with this, because we did get Lumber Mill at the end there, so we're 3-2. Alright, he couldn't get a cast off right off the bat. Basilisk. We're on this guy now, but we're going to switch. Interrupt. Gotcha. Instantly interrupting them. They can't do anything. Alright, we just have to prevent them from playing the game now. That's what hunters are so good at with the traps and the concussive shots. Went for the trap. We got it. That's going to be really bad for him. Nice. We're on this guy now that's fleeing. Are you kidding? How'd I die? Lights Reckoning? Okay. I thought we were making a major comeback and just kind of sweeping the game, but we didn't maintain any of the points there, which sucked. I don't know. I was trying to lead the charge, as you can see. Look at that damage compared to the next best person, even though he's a hunter. Um, but it looks like maybe I got over rambunctious, or maybe they just all followed me constantly and didn't hold points. Rogue's on me now. Basilisk is up. I'm trying to cap over here. I'm not going to let them. Gotcha. Counter shot on the Mind Blast. We'll go Rogue. We'll go the Rogue that's on me, actually. Pretend to be dead. But we're not, lol. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. 
Maybe we can freeze this guy? We didn't. They had way too many reinforcements there, unfortunately. Okay, doing doing good. 13-2. Really high damage. But we did lose the mines, man. It's really disappointing. I'm gonna go back for it. I can beat multiple of those guys at the same time, so depending on how many stay to D, I might be able to just recap it. Can I beat these guys all by myself? Probably not. They have like four people D. That's the biggest difference. The Alliance are way more likely to just sit at the node and do nothing. I don't know why, uh, but the Horde are much more likely to just run around, it seems, and try to find kills. So it looks like what shouldn't necessarily be a perk in PvP, which is not wanting to fight, is actually a really big perk for the Alliance on these type of game modes. We're stomping them at the graveyard, but we don't cap anything. This is like some big brain horde plays right here. <laughs> like absolutely massive. Yeah, we lost, unfortunately, pretty bad here. I feel like we had better players, but it doesn't matter if you can't play the objective. And I think the Alliance just play the objective way better because they seriously do lose every single fight. It's actually kind of amazing. That just shows you it's not just like how many kills you can get or how good your gear is. If you're just smart, you'll win. And the Alliance proved that against us on this fight. Okay, so, can't carry them all. Cannot carry them all. So I'm gonna be real, I've been looking at these grizzly bears as I've been killing them for my quests, and I think I want two of them as my two pets. So, <laughs> I'm actually gonna get rid of both of these dudes and tame two of these big-ass bears. I think that's gonna be really sick. Okay, I decided to double down. Now we're three bears. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we totally saved our ally there. Okay, on this guy now. Cool, that worked out perfectly. But we stole this almost by herself. We got some help from that other guy. He did end up dying at the end of the day, but that's okay. <laughs> like, that's fine, it happens. Better him than me, I guess. Throws a pet. Disengage the opposite direction, dead. Okay, we're on this guy. Stun me, but I'm immediately out of it. Reduce all damage taken. I'm gonna go ahead and heal too. Cussive shot the DK. All right, turtle. Jesus, there's so many. At this point, it's just survive. At this point, we just survive. We're backwards now. And we're running. Okay. They're so on me right now. <laughs> like, jeez. All right, well, at least, at least I made, what, six of them focus on me and do nothing else. So that's pretty good for my team. Yeah, we're buying goblin gliders after this because I'm just sick of not having them. I will say survival of the fittest has come in handy as well as the 5% maximum health increase for having a tenacity pet. Okay, big fight. Slow the healers back there. And the hunter, I mean. We're on this resto druid. He's still wrath. Feign death to get the dudes off me. Freezing trap. We didn't get him, but it's okay. We'll lure him over there. Watch. We're coming for him now. He went into it. Look at it. Dead. All right, we're actually down right now. We need to get back up. Hey, I'm in first place. I'll take it. Max damage too. Max KB. Uh, for my team, we have the highest honorable kills, but the Alliance is really doing better in that regard. Okay. Good call. Obvious call, but you'd be surprised that nobody like does that by default. Always go on the healer, guys. Every single time. And then that happens and you win the fight. I'm also going to go up here to quarry now. I think I might be able to solo whoever might be there defending it. And we could definitely use that help right now because we are definitely not doing great. We lost shrine. Yeah, I don't think anybody's even here. They're really confident in themselves. The Alliance are just so good at capping points and just sitting there. And they all tend to play tanky classes and <laughs> hunters as well, just like me, but also healers, which is so much better. Like, they're just so good on D. Look at this, dude. Come on. All right. Let's get him. Survival? No, I'm not going to use it. Basilisk? He can't. He can't do anything. Drop his uh, target. A 
Okay. <laughs> and we capped it, so that worked out. Okay, maybe we can get the three cap now and come back. I mean, we are ahead. All right, they're all taking the game extra serious now, which I'm not complaining about. I definitely do want to win. I know that I'm better off solo right now. <laughs> like, I just have this feeling that I can make something happen. Because if I'm diverting this dude's attention and this other dude's attention, that is still my team up in numbers right now. As long as I can do it for a certain period of time. Okay. We're on the rogue. We just make sure to slow the pally so he can't get to us as fast. Dead. Alright. No big deal. Basilisk on pally. Damn it, man. Okay, we keep diverting their attention. I think we're actually going to take this game. And we're still in first place, which is good. First place in basically every way you could expect to be in first place on as a DPS. I'll take it. Okay, we're in a Warsong Gulch. Got a dude coming, actually. Okay, got somebody. What's this dude doing? Okay. We're gonna kill this mage now. I'm not sure what this dude's doing, but it's not damage. <laughs> the one thing he's not doing is the only thing he needs to do, which is damage. Okay, he can't go that way. Alright, GG. K on this guy, the healer. Oh, I thought, no, he's a Windwalker, lol. On this Warlock. Dude's always on me every single time. I think we'll win this. Custom shot the hunter back there. Okay. On this guy. There we go. Level 30 off that. Apparently we can fly. Just got the I believe you can fly quest. Wow, we can actually get another talent already and a PvP talent, which just feels so sick. Before it took like 15 levels to get a new talent. This is such a better pace. Man, we have a dungeon too. I'm gonna go with camouflage because it's interesting. Okay, I decided to go with this look for my transmog for now. It's pretty sick, pretty brutish looking with the crossbow as well, and uh, I think it kind of fits the theme. We are working with what we've got right now, and it's not that much, but I think with what we've got, we've done pretty good. We even show the tattoos on our arms and everything, eye patch over the blind eye. I think it works. Okay, I decided to go ahead and switch to survival tactics for my second PvP talent. This makes it to where my feign death, which lets me literally fake uh, death right here. It makes it to where it removes all harmful magical effects and reduces all damage I take by 99% uh, for 1.5 seconds after its use. That's pretty good, and I think I can actually make pretty good use of it as well. Again, camouflage actually heals me for 2% of my maximum health every 1 second while it's up, and it gives me stealth for a minute, so that's strong as well. So I'm feeling good with our PvP talent choices and just our talent choices in general. Alright, we're going back to Northrend, Borean Tundra. Hopefully we can find people to fight. Now that I can fly, this is a lot easier in terms of finding people to fight. So I'm going to go straight to where the Alliance typically play the game. And we're going to see if we can just bully people on the beaches. I mean, it's all fair, right? Because everything scales. So I'm actually very curious to see if I can get some good fights down here. Level 30 flying cost me like 280 gold, by the way, which I had the perfect amount for. So yeah, the pacing is just amazing right now. Nope, nobody on the beach right now. You would think you'd see more Alliance because they get an XP boost. But it seems like that is not the case. I really do wish there was something like Criminal Intent in World of Warcraft where you could just attack people on your own faction and become a criminal as a result and can't enter cities and stuff. I think that's a really good idea from Project Ascension's mod uh, that I think would be a very good inclusion into the retail World of Warcraft. So what we're playing right now. Okay, here's somebody. Let's wait till he demounts. He has a level advantage, but it's no big deal. Dude, did he actually get to go back on his mount? All right, we're on him. Okay, that was pretty easy. 11 honor. I don't even know if that's worth it, but it's still fun. I guess just the fun factor alone is worth it. Also, we did get eight goblin glider kits. It was like 90 gold. So we need to farm some more gold to get more of these. I'd like to have like 500 just sitting there at all times. All right, Windwalker Monk and Frosty K versus Pally and Hunter. All right, we gotta go on the Death Knight all day. Basilisk right off the bat, totem. Where are my pets?
AFK on the Death Knight. Froze the, I think that freeze was actually the win, but I froze that guy, the monk. That was not great. Okay, concussive. Great pets on him. Dead. I'll give it to the monk. He really did try hard there. But okay guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I have tried very hard to push out three episodes this weekend for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. More episodes to come. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Make doubles out.